Hello everyone, my name is Matt Rivers. I am the correspondent for CNN here in Beijing. You're seeing the lovely view from our bureau balcony and I'm joined here by Mr. Tony Shaw. This is the new owner of the English Premier League club, Aston Villa. Thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Uh, and we'll get right into it here. We'd like to, to ask Mr. Shaw some questions about how he just purchased the club. And if you'd like to ask him some questions, please comment below. Uh, we are live right now, and so if you comment, we can hopefully take some of your comments and I can pose those questions uh, to Mr. Shaw. But let's jump right in. One question that we have heard a lot from the Aston Villa fan base. This has not been a good season. I mean, we know that. Uh, you know, relegation, and just a really poor showing. What is your message to the fan base, to, to the people who are showing up there day in and uh, season in, season out? What's your message to them right now? I think, yeah, we, we need to uh, 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 choose the right manager team. We, we should make the club go back to the right track as soon as we can. And uh, I think uh, we need to get the club back to the great history as they uh, used to be. And uh, I think they deserve that. How do you do that, though? I mean, it's easy to say that they should be, they should be great again, but saying and doing are two different things. I mean, you said you start with the manager, but it's more than that, right? Yeah, yes. I said, uh, well, there's something wrong uh, for the past uh, several years in the club uh, from the, the club manager to the first spot, even to the uh, academy or everything in, in, inside the club. At first, we need to, to do something uh, make it positive at least first, and uh, uh, a right management team will be the, the the most important thing to to make club uh, to be to be to be in a right position and uh, a very. It's an uphill battle, though, right? So realistically, next season. You know, what are you expecting? One of the questions we have here is, what are you expecting next season? Consolidation or, or immediately aiming for promotion? What, what are you thinking? Well, we, we are aiming to, to, to be promoted in one season. That's, what, that's our major task for the next year. And uh, we hope we can do it. Right. And you feel confident you're going to be able to, to do that? Yeah, for now. Well, I think uh, I'm confident with that. And, uh, it's our uh, first priority, uh, priority things for us to, to as a basic, uh, basic uh, element to select the manager. Sure. We need the manager to be competent at that. Too. Right, and so it's been a little bit of a rocky start uh, for you as an owner. You've had to face lots of different allegations about your academic record at Harvard, about how in the initial uh, posting on the Aston Villa website, it said that the company you own was the controlling entity of five different companies, in fact it's only one. How did that mistake get made and, and should that give Aston Villa fans a little pause uh, if they're a little bit nervous about this kind of a rocky start? Oh no, well, I, I think there are some miscommunication in between uh, different languages and uh, also there's maybe something different in, in the different uh, business system. Uh, we do uh, control even more than five uh, public companies and uh, it's just in the different ways. And uh, well, there's, I, I know there's also some other uh, issues uh, raised up uh, as, as a lot of people uh, uh, talking about uh, well, I, I, actually, I don't care where, where they come from. What, uh, what I have to say is, uh, uh, saying too much is not good enough. We, we need to get things done. That's the most important. Right. And, and in order to get things done, though, you need to have the support of your fan base, and you need to have their trust, and they need to keep showing up to games. You're, you're, very, you're a private person. We, we know this. Uh, you don't... You're not in the media a lot, you're not in the spotlight a lot, so we don't know as much about you as we know about other owners. You're purchasing this club for about $100 million, but 
can you afford that? I mean, how much are how much are you worth? If, if you don't mind me asking so frankly, and you know, hundred million dollars is a lot of money. So, do you have the money? Do you have the resources to do the things that you say you're going to do with this club? Well, actually, we have a deposit. Uh, 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 more than one hundred million dollars uh, cash uh, pound in the account in England for now, uh, which was was uh, one basic uh, material to be approved by the football league. So, well, don't worry about that. Uh, I'm a person uh, don't want to to be public. That's for sure. I. Want to stay much low profile, uh, and I can do something I like. Um, but I, I think I very much serious consider to buy the club, and I will take my responsibility to make make the club go back to the right track. Well, and, and what is your net worth? Well, I don't account. Uh, I, that in exactly how much it, uh, but uh, so you don't want to answer that yeah, question. It's yeah. it, it, it's quite obvious. One one question. What, 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 what I can ask, uh, what, 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 what I can answer is, uh, I have more than eighty uh, those private firms, and uh, for the last one uh, 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 six months ago, I sold one, of them. and it's uh, for four point two billion Chinese RMB. Right. So, one of the companies that you you do own, the one that is the publicly listed company here, uh, that is a big seller of MSG products, they posted a loss last year, right? A pretty big profit loss. Does that have any impact on your ability to spend money on this club? No, no, actually. Uh, the time which is uh, two years ago, we bought this uh, public list company from government owned, and uh, at that time they lost much more. And uh, until the last year, we actually have positive uh, EBITDA mm. uh, and uh, positive cash flow. But we uh, uh, we have kick out so much mitigation. Which was uh, w was kept for many many long years uh, uh, by the government. Uh, so in case of the company, uh, was that company, it is down to own money. So don't worry about that. It's not just people uh, didn't pay much attention to the detail of the, those number. What the number means. So what I hear you saying is that you're ready to spend money on this team. You're saying that you have the money to spend, and that Aston Villa supporters should not be concerned about the no, money that's that you a, have. That's not a problem for us. Okay. One other question that we just got here is: It's well known that your connections to the Chinese government are very strong. Uh, you've got lots of connections in the government. Uh, a cousin of President Xi Jinping sat on a, a board of one of your companies, and then was removed the next day. Can you explain that at all? Your connection to the Chinese government and, and that particular situation with Xi Jinping's well, cousin. Well, actually, uh, I have have been invited to teach at uh, China Mayor's of uh, Training Center, mm -hmm. which is the, the the institution training a lot of mayors. Uh, I think uh, uh, the mayors I taught for the last uh, more than 10 years. Exceed, all the mayors all across yeah, the country? Yeah, exceed 600 or 700 people. A lot of them were promoted afterwards. And, well, I do have uh, many personal good relation, relationship with those people. Mm. And uh, also I know a lot of high level uh, of uh, office uh, government office or national levels office, uh, but that's, that's not a problem. Uh, Is the I, Chinese government involved in this deal no, for Aston Villa no, at all? No, no way no, at all? No way. Uh, uh, well, I think that people have too much imagination in that uh, case. That's just pure 
uh, business for me and for my company. And, and just to wrap up here, we've been live talking uh, with Mr. Tony Shaw, the new owner uh, of, of uh, Aston Villa. And, and a final question here that I'll ask for you is your long-term plan for this club. You did talk about it a little bit uh, earlier, but you, know, you seem to have very ambitious goals. What is your long-term plan here moving forward? Well, actually, uh, uh, everything we have the most difficult uh, uh, beginning to, to start. Uh, for now, I think uh, to be realistic, we have to get the club to be promoted. That's the first priority. And uh, afterwards, we will try to keep this club to be at least, uh, I think, as uh, Ila did uh, 10 years or, or, or uh, they did most time in at the end of the last century, uh, we should stand uh, in the top six and we get more chance to play in the European uh, game. And uh, uh, best performance in the European battlefield. Well, there's, yeah. there's, there's no doubt that supporters, I'm sure, of, of the club hope that that is what happens. Thank you so much for joining us. We've been coming to you live. Uh, from the balcony of the Beijing Bureau here, it's uh, for CNN uh, in China. Uh, thank you very much for joining us, and, and that's it for now.